close up, our brains are a thick tangle of nerve cells connected to each other at synapses and surrounded by support cells and blood vessels. Working out exactly what connects to what and how those connections enable us to see, to store memories and to make decisions is a huge challenge. Not least because a human brain contains around 100 billion nerve cells making several trillion connections. So scientists started with a much simpler animal, a tiny dirt-dwelling worm with only 302 cells in its entire nervous system. Even so, it took over a decade to complete these wiring diagrams. The worm mappers used a technique called serial electron microscopy. Now, two teams have reinvented the technique and applied it to small bits of a much more complex brain. At the Max Planck Institute for Medical Research in Germany, they focused on the mouse retina. Even a tiny bit of retina, the size of a grain of salt, contains such a dense tangle of neurons that to capture every twist and turn, you need to take tens of thousands of pictures. So the team built a souped-up microscope, an automated machine to cut the sample into extremely thin slices and image it with beams of electrons. By restacking these digital images, they were able to reconstruct the speck of retina in all its detail. The job required one terabyte of data and immense computing power. Researchers at Harvard used a similar technique to slice up and reassemble a small section of mouse visual cortex, the part of the brain where information from the retina is processed. But what makes these studies special is that before slicing and mapping, the teams watched the brain in action and recorded the behaviour of cells in their sample. The German team showed their mouse a moving light beam, indicated here by a white arrow, and watched to see which cells fired. They assigned each cell a colour according to its response. Pink for rightwards motion, red for leftwards, and so on. Then they identified the same neurons in the 3D reconstruction. And, starting with the cell body, they manually traced the cell's multiple projections and connections. It's a painstaking process and it took the team hours to trace just a few cells. As well as being a huge technical feat, examining the brain at this level of detail teaches us how it processes information. Here are the cells mapped by the Harvard team, including their connections with other cells, shown in pink and pale blue. The researchers hope to scale up from a handful of cells to hundreds and then thousands, but that's still a long way from mapping every nerve cell and every synapse in a mammalian brain. What's more, it's only a snapshot, the connections in our brain constantly change as we learn and lay down memories. And at the micro level, no two brains are the same. So scientists are also mapping the brain on the macro scale and trying to work out how it changes through development and how it varies from person to person. This is the goal of the Human Connectome Project, which uses data from MRI studies to map long-distance connections made by bundles of nerve fibres. These are the superhighways linking different brain areas. Collectively, these projects are known as connectomics, and they're sometimes compared in scale and ambition to the Human Genome Project. Another tool in the connectomics box is BrainBow. By engineering neurons to emit different shades of fluorescent light, Scientists at Harvard produced these beautiful Technicolor images. The colours help scientists distinguish and follow individual neurons. Together, all these projects may, one day, reveal how a tangled mess of billions of cells enables us to see, to dream and to study the brain as scientists 
and how to repair it when it goes wrong.